bullet journal layout for this week. I am keeping it very, very simple. Um, each day I'll just write out the tasks that I have for the day. And then up here at the top I have things that I need to focus on for this week. So I'll know when I'm planning for the week, I need to add those in on a specific day. Just working on picking a couple ideas to do my first collection with and I think I said earlier in this vlog I didn't want to do a full-on balloon series but I think I've changed my mind We'll see where it goes. I have six painting ideas laid out. They're all going to be five by seven on canvas board. And that's what I will be working on for the upcoming weeks.
to check in and chat a little bit with you guys. Um, so this week has not been the most productive or creative week. Um, I feel like I have all these ideas that I want to get done, but no real plan on how to accomplish those goals. So I kind of felt a little bit overwhelmed this week and took a step back to plan things out a little bit better. Um, I have a couple new videos coming out for you guys. I want to do a February plan with me in my bullet journal. And then I also want to start a sketchbook series. So this filling up my sketchbook is one of my big goals for 2020. So I want to share that process with you guys and have it to where you guys can paint along with me and we can fill a sketchbook together. So I just wanted to encourage you guys if you feel the same, if you feel like you started this marathon out in a sprint, take a little bit of a water break, rethink some things, make sure you have your goals but then break your goals down so that they're a little bit more achievable. This week I did work on some more digital patterns. Um, so those are up in my Redbubble shop and my Society6 if you want to check them out. I've also been researching a lot about the pattern trends and the color trends that are going to be a part of 2020 and it looks pretty interesting so far. A lot of pattern prints, um, a lot of animal print, floral prints, um, Classic blue is a big color this year, tan, uh, like a burgundy red color is pretty popular as well. So I will be interested to see how the year turns out, if these predictions are true or not. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here and I will see you guys next week. I hope you liked this week's vlog. Please hit the subscribe button, it would really help my channel out, and I really appreciate all your support. I'll see you guys next week.